Hey, y'all. <laughs> Just a second. I just, um, I have some sage here, so I wanted to get this lit really quickly. I love sage. Just a moment. Y'all come on in, come on in. How y'all doing? Okay. So we got it started. Hey, peace and love, Grand Rising. My name is Tiara Chardé. It is time for the divine message for the collective. It is Thursday, the 25th of April. I hope all is well. Give you some of these sage vibes. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? So the divine message for the collective started on my YouTube channel, Tiara Neo Chardé. I'm putting that uh, the link to my website as well as my YouTube channel in the comment section for you guys. So you guys make sure you're checking that out. Um, you're really going to want to schedule a private session with me. This message and all of these messages are for the collective. They're for millions of people. It may not resonate with everybody. Um, in a private session, we discuss career, money, romance, um, and a whole bunch of other topics, you guys. Whatever is on your mind, you need to connect um, I'm definitely the plug for that. I do manifestation rituals. I do soul's contracts, north node reports, which is your soul's purpose, your life's purpose. Um, did I mention past life relocation counseling concerning detox, weight loss? Many of you guys know I lost over 100 pounds um, in a year of living in Costa Rica. And I did that off of a plant-based lifestyle, making sure I got a lot of sun and good fruit. Oh, there's amazing fruit in Costa Rica. Um and I do manifest manifestation rituals. Um, they come with a consultation because I need to make sure that things are in alignment before I do the rituals because they do work. Usually they work within the hour. So I really need to make sure that what we're pulling in is in alignment with the divine, okay? Hey, peace and love, rooted in love. How you doing, beautiful? Um... So, I do have reading specials. If you guys know anyone between the ages of 18 and 22, $10 reading specials for those ages. Um, $15 off if you refer two people to me. So, refer two people, get $15 off of any service. And again, my manifestation rituals come with a consultation so we both know um, what to expect and if it's in alignment with us. So, do you guys get these sage vibes? So, I feel really wonderful. Let me let me tell you, before we hop into this message, let me tell you guys, last night I had a fabulous time at BBT Creates Poets Realm. Um, I performed a little poem. I've been doing that for the past three weeks now. Um, three to four weeks. So if you guys are in Bridgeport, Connecticut, make sure you come out in your area. Make sure you support these open mics, um, spots, and... Poets lounges, these are our creatives, and most of the time, creatives, you are very spiritually connected. Hey, Kojo, how you doing? Um, creatives are very spiritually connected because you're tapped into the spirit world, you're tapped into the unseen, you're able to create things that others may not be able to. So make sure you're supporting the artists. Make sure you're supporting yourself if you're an artist. Nurture your art, okay? Um... I feel like that's all. Okay, so the link to my YouTube is in the comment section. I uploaded the end of April romance readings for Earth, Air, Fire, and Water signs. Uh, so make sure you're checking those out. And I say that that's if your placements are... Um, so you want to watch the Earth sign video, say, if your placements are in Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Um, your Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Or you're dealing with someone with those placements, okay? So make sure you're checking that out. Uh, let's get into it, you guys. So this is Hold On, Baby, Hold On. And I could be dramatic sometimes, but I really wanted to name it that because many of you are right at the finish line of one particular phase. So if you've been dealing with something for a while, now you're at the stage where um, everything is coming together for you. So many of you, this is a spiritual awakening. So you did the dark night of the soul. You've been there, done that. You had to explain to people, family and friends who didn't really understand what you were going through, what you were going through. 
and you you had to deal with all of that so now many of you you're at the end of that journey okay now you come to the realization look i really kind of just need to dive into my personal journey and that's what it needs to be so you're moving towards that for others of you, this is you wrapping up a career because you're being pulled to be an entrepreneur, you're being pulled to be a spiritual practitioner, a writer, whatever it is, and you're wrapping up that cycle. Um, I feel like many of you are tapping into some major, major strength. A lot of it comes be comes from you tapping into your inner world and your inner guidance. Hey, Antonio, peace and love. Um, you're really tapping into that inner guidance, Okay. There is a need for you to push through. Some of you, you feel like maybe you took on more than you can chew. This especially goes for people who are um, in business or you're entrepreneurs. Maybe you're creating something from scratch. This has been coming up for weeks, <laughs> okay? Maybe you're creating a project or something for, from scratch. Hey, sugar, sugar, how you doing? Maybe you're trying to start something from scratch and you are realizing that you don't have, hey, hey, you don't have all the answers or you missed a step or this is an advice to make sure that you're, you're structured in your business, in your, um, your career so that you don't miss a step. So for some of you, this is what you need to do. You maybe need to go back maybe in your business plan or the idea that you had for a project that you're trying to create and try to just um, tweak it a little. I believe that came up in yesterday's divine message. That you need to like tweak something that you're building just a little bit and you're, you're gold, okay? It's, it's, you're on point. Um, for others of you, you had thoughts. These are thoughts. So this is maybe thinking, oh, I don't think people are going to like this. Are they going to buy it? You know, or this thinking, uh, I don't think I'm going to get support. Like, I don't know if this is going to happen. So many of you, you're in your head. Some of you, that's a good thing because you're meditating. You're tapping into your inner guidance. Um, you're connecting with your ancestors and them and trying to get answers. For others of you, this is not so good because you're just going round and round in cycles and you're driving yourself crazy. Stop it. Hey, Rosh Jungle Fire, how you doing? Stop all of that. And Douglas um, or Dougal, I'm sorry. Um, so stop doing that. Get up out of your head because there's victory here. So you're going to heal. Many of you, okay, are going to heal your thoughts of maybe not being able to do something or your thoughts of not having all the answers. Um, there's a healing that's going to take place and the divine is giving you a real opportunity for this. Okay, you have an opportunity for healing. You have an opportunity to move forward. So I need you to see it. Many of us, we get caught up in these stories we created for ourselves because we don't see opportunities. We don't see that they're there. We don't see that we actually do have options. So I need you guys to take a step back. And this is where some of you are at right now. Like you're taking a step back and seeing things from a different perspective. Okay, or maybe coming in to your guidance more. Maybe you were following something somebody else told you was best for them and you're realizing, oh, this doesn't work for me. So now you're creating your own path. You're needing to tweak something. Okay, so that's that's here. Um, I really want you guys to hold on because the divine is giving you something tangible. Okay. For some of you... Uh, now let's get into love because that just, that just popped up. Okay. So for some of you in love, when it comes to your romantic life, okay... I feel like some of you are going to have somebody come in your life or somebody has come in your life that you have romantic feelings for or this is vice versa, how they feel about you. But in any event, for love, for romance, there is an opportunity for that. So for my singles out there, you might be missing something. See what I mean? Like you're doing so much, maybe you're missing the signs of somebody likes you, who likes you. Now, for those who this applies to, just tell the person you like them and get it over with. <laughs> stop playing around because you're absolutely amazing and why wouldn't they like you that's crazy um now if they're in a committed relationship you need to sit down because that's not what it's about but for those of you who are single and this is the case just tell that baby how you feel okay so you have an opportunity in love with that you have an opportunity with creativity here uh somebody might have found out that they're expecting random 
but maybe not so random. When things come up to me and I say random, they're really not random. Because somebody out there is it's you. <laughs> and I know it because, look, I just know it. I, I don't know. I just do. So some of you are going to find out that you're expecting. Others of you, this is uh, an opportunity or a birthing of creativity. So these are my artists. These are my actors. These are people on a job. Maybe it's your role to come up with certain ideas or you lead or you manage something I don't know I don't know take what resonates with your story like I said it's not gonna rock with everybody but I hope it does um so in any event there's an opportunity for clarity for love self-love too um and to move forward on a project so for those of you who are in your thoughts like I don't think I could do this or I don't think this project is a good idea it's like no it is and you're gonna have the the oomph the passion to move forward it's going to bring you true happiness you all it's gonna bring you true 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 happiness hey smoking bull hey rain god um in a return to happiness, because I feel like I'm I'm connecting with some people who were stressed or had anxiety about something. So I feel like it's a return of of joy. I don't know. Or like or you received information that was a surprise or was a gift to you. Something like that. Something like that. But um in any event, many of you, all of you are needing to tap into that strength, your inner strength. That's, that's, that's big here. That guidance is big here, okay, you guys? Like, tapping into your inner strength and knowing that you're capable and powerful of creating the life that you want to create, okay? Many of you, these opportunities that I was just talking about, it's going to come in the form of communications. But what I mean by communications, I mean, like, um... Like, you're going to get a phone call that says, hey, you know, we heard this. You want to come on out? Something like that. Some of you, this is a response to your job application. Ooh, yeah. This is a response to your job application. I feel like many of you, things that are going on, things are going on in your household or in your, your center, in your, in, our, in your house, <laughs> in your vessel, or in your physical home. Things are going on and you're going to receive information about it that you're going to be pleased about. So I don't normally cover health because it could be a tricky thing. It could be a tricky thing for me to read. So I try to steer out of that realm. But right now it's telling me that somebody may have gotten ill or wasn't feeling well. Or you had a health scare of some kind. And you're finding, you're getting information that everything is okay with you. Okay, I don't know who that relates to, but I do want to encourage us all to get um, screened. Health and wellness. Health is wealth. Okay, I don't care who you go to. Um, I steer away from the mainstream, whatever that is, and um, I'm more on the holistic side of things. So if you need to go see a holistic um, practitioner, do that, but get a checkup. For many of you, you're doing this and you're realizing everything is okay. So you're like, all right, I'm good. Or many of you, you had a screening because you wanted to do something. For some of you, this is a pregnancy type of thing. And you're getting a checkup in that way. Wow, okay. Okay. Yeah, some of you are getting a checkup. Sorry, okay. Um. Yeah, I just had to feel that for a second, so... For some of you, you're needing to make a decision in your household. And you're going to have communication about that. Maybe you have a mentor. Maybe you um, maybe you saw advice or counseling, family counseling or something like that. Maybe there is a need to seek family counseling or um, sit down and talk with the people you love. Some of you are going to be engaged. Some of you are going to be married. Within the next few months, within the next year mm, I wanted to say that within the next few months to the next six months so I just want to say that because that's what I was initially gonna say so I was gonna say three to six months and then for some of you it's three months to a year you're going to be engaged or in some sort of committed committed relationship 
Some of you need to watch your money, but your money is going to improve. But in any event, you need to monitor your finances, your expenses, get, get them in order. Get your expenses in order. There's going to be some sort of purchase. Some of you could be purchasing homes. Some of you could be planning on purchasing homes and getting married and settling down. So you're having these conversations about that. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're putting things in the works to manifest that for some of you. So I really want you all to hold on right now. Okay. The divine is encouraging you to do that. Because there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. The grass is greener on the other side. I think one of the divine messages, that was the title. It's literally, is for some of you, it literally is greener on the other side. And you just need to hold on a little bit longer for your gifts to come in. For your ships to come in. A little bit longer. Many of you could be waiting um, to hear if you were approved for an apartment or a house. Many of you just bought an apartment or a house or a condo or something like that. You just moved in. There's something new. There's something new and there's a, a return of something here. That could be anything. I don't want to say return of the ex, but there's just something here. Or maybe you're revisiting something and it's bringing you happiness. Maybe a childhood memory. There's some element here. I don't know how it relates to you. Also, make sure you're leaving it in the comments. I love to hear from you guys. Um, these are channeled messages, um, so I know that they are valid, period, and I know that they're going to relate to somebody, period, but I always like to hear from you guys and, and see how it resonates with you, okay? So that is the divine message for the collective, my beautiful, beautiful people. Oh my gosh, you're so amazing. I hope you know how amazing you are. I hope you took the time this rising to look in the mirror and be like, you the shit. <laughs> like there is nobody like you you are compassionate and trustworthy you're honest you know what i mean you're balanced in your energy you're whole within yourself you're happy within yourself you don't need anybody else to make you happy that's found within you you create that so i hope you looked yourself in the mirror and told yourself how incredible you are hey zenas how you doing i hope you did that you got to say, I am handsome, I am beautiful, I am intelligent, I am everything I ever dreamed of. I am, I am financially independent, I am stable, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you got to say to yourself, I got your back, I got your back, I'm, I'm protecting you. If you got to do that inner child work and talk to that inner child that you had locked away and be like, it's okay baby, we grow up, we grow up and we the shit, <laughs> you know? And we don't have all the answers when we grow up, but we try really hard. And we look for the answers, and we're learning. So you could come on out, you know, and take that inner child by the hand and bring him out. Bring her out, you know. It, it's, it, we're done. We're done with these karmic cycles, y'all. We're done with that. We're done with karmic relationships. We're done with toxic relationships. We're done with beating ourselves up. We're done with judging ourselves. Like, that's, that's, that's over. Like, that's an old-ass story. Like, we've been saying that for so long, it's done. Like, get over it. <laughs> and I mean that with so much love. So much love. I say get over it with so much love. But that's what it is. You need to address it, look it in its face, understand what happened. Come to a reconciliation within yourself. Forgive others, forgive yourself, and then move the fuck on. Because what's on the other side is amazing. And if you understand your spirituality, you know that we signed up for certain experiences in this life because our soul needed it to ascend, to get to the next level. And as much BS as we go through, as much horrible things go on in this world, we have to understand that there's a purpose. Everyone has a role to play. Every single person, every single thing works for your good, no matter what. And if you can just flip your perception a little bit, flip your perspective, you'll see that and then you'll start to create the life that you want because now you're no longer stuck in this program. You're not stuck in that program of victim, 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 victim. You're actually like, wait, but I create the life that I want for myself, though. Like, I, I, can, I can do that, though. And then you're going to start to do that. And then you're going to start to vibe in a way where you're calling people into your life who can help you. 
who you can help. And then life just changes. And many of you guys, I tell on myself, that's a part of my soul's purpose. is literally to sit here in front of y'all and tell y'all my mistakes and my accomplishments. And these spiritual downloads I get. And talk about the visions and the voices and the little... The little messages I get to give to y'all. And when y'all ancestors and spirit guides come to me to tell me about you, I have to get in front of this camera and tell you about you. That's that's my role. So that was my journey. For many of you, that's your journey. Like you have stories to tell. And that's literally why you've been through what you've been through. Okay? I had a, oh my God, I had a beautiful client yesterday. Oh my gosh, I hope she's watching this video. You're amazing. And it's shining your light over and above anything else anything else and doing it so beautifully and in a healthy way that's that's where we're moving towards so you guys cut out the karmic cycles they done they're done stop stop subscribing to the same story the same victim mentality the same poverty mind state the same hell mind state cuz hell is a mind state it's a mind state, and then because it's a mind state, you create it and you manifest it into your reality. So now it's a location, now it's a place, now it's an actual thing. But you created that. You need to see it. And once you see that, you're like, okay, well now I could create something real magical, real amazing. Let's put some daisies over here. <laughs> Let's have a rainbow going directly over my house. You can create that. Okay, I can show you how. I can show you how. I don't know how we steered in this direction, but anytime this happens, I just like to flow with it because it's really not, it's not like Tierra saying, do this, do that. That's not what this is when this happens like that. All of these divine messages for the collective, it's not quite Tierra saying, it's what's coming through for you guys and for me too. So uh, just so for some of you who aren't aware, that's kind of the process that happens during the divine message for the collective. It's channeled messages. Sometimes I'm inspired to pull a card. Like every Friday we pull these sacred traveler cards, these oracle cards. Um, and we read them together and that really sets you up for your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I do say this, these videos have dates on them, but they're not date specific. So this literally could have happened to you a couple weeks ago. You could be going through it right now. You're going to go through it next month. Or you may not go through any of this. Um, but for, I know for the most part, many of you guys hit me up like this was spot on. So I know somebody's going to get something from it. And that's, that's enough. That's enough for me. All right. So I will see you guys here tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. We get into your weekend forecast. Um, so like I said, we pull the Oracle card. So if you're between the ages of 18 to 22, you know, anybody 18 to 22, buy them a $10 reading. It could really change your life. I had a, I have a lot of youth college students hitting me up. They want to learn about astrology and their soul's purpose. They want to learn about the tarot because their soul is calling and they don't know what to do. And many of them, you know, they get caught up in guns and drugs and violence because they don't have anyone to tell them that the things that they're going through are spiritual. They're not physical. The things that are going on inside of them is because many of them have spiritual callings and they don't know who to talk to and they don't know how to express it. They think people are going to think they're crazy because they see things or they hear things or they just know stuff. And I get passionate about this because I was one of those kids who just knew stuff. Knew stuff nobody told me about. Just knew. Hey, rebellious mahogany. Hey, beautiful. Um... So I identify with the children. Hey, K-Styles, because I identify with the children because I was that child. I was that quote-unquote gifted child because there's so many of us. I don't want to make it seem like I'm the only one. I say that a lot. Like, I'm not the only Neo out here. I'm not the only Oracle out here. But I was one of those children who I was going through real things in the physical world because I was going through real things in the spiritual world. And I, I didn't quite have the answers. And I see that in our youth today. Like, I can look at them and I'd be like, damn. They have the divine all over them. But they bugging out in the streets because they don't have any guidance. They don't have anyone to tell them, like, yo, you're supposed to be a prophet out here. What you doing, baby? Come on, let me, let me talk to you. They don't have anybody like that. Or they don't have anybody like, damn, sis, you, you're a high priestess. Like, you straight up, all you need to do is center yourself. They don't have anybody to say that to them, yo. They don't. I didn't. 
a prophet came to a church one day. I was so scared because I was I was I was the weird one. I was the one who saw things, dreamed things, just knew things that nobody else knew, talked real crazy to people. So I went to a prophet. I was terrified and they told that prophet told me things that I ultimately started living and I had forgotten about it. It's like my brain had suppressed the experience. I wasn't young, young, maybe 10. And he had told me some things and I'm like, what? This sounds crazy. It sounds scary. I'm going to do what? And it's like, yo, I'm, li I'm, I'm doing it though. Like I'm doing that though. Like I'm, I'm here in front of y'all. This is, I'm doing it. Because this is my calling. So many of you, you're going through things and you think that it's just in the physical realm. It's not. There's things you're going through spiritually. You're going through a lot because you need to be built that tough to teach, to go out in front of people, to inspire somebody, to get the work done. Many of us were at the front lines of this ascension thing. We're at the front lines of the grand awakening. We're the light bearers. You know, we hold the torch. We're the lighthouses. So many of y'all. So many are the lighthouses. And, and the youth too. Oh my God, these children who are being born now, they're like, they're super Saiyans. <laughs> like, they're, they're freaking, like, I don't even know. I don't even know. Sometimes I look at these children and I'm like, yo, all I see is just a bulb. Like, just a light bulb. Just on. You're just a walking light bulb. Because you're destined to do major things in this life. Major spiritual works. Even on my social media platform, I look at y'all and I be like, damn. Like, she's so bright. Like, does she know how bright she is, though? Like, does he know how godly he is i don't think he sees it because all of his pictures is like i don't think he knows so man like i don't know why i went in that direction but you know make sure we're taking care of our children and our youth do that they need us oh my god they need us i'm um i'm in my early 30s so i believe it's some year we were talking about i think it's 83 to 90 something it's like our generation is is a part of a generation that is is doing big 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 things <laughs> yeah they some super saiyans k styles but our generation is doing big big things um and it's our responsibility to nurture the younger ones the children and the youth it is there's always a saying it takes the village and i need some of y'all parents to understand that if you ask for a village don't get beside yourself when a village show up though don't get beside yourself in the village say, okay, baby, well, you know you shouldn't have had your baby out there like that. Don't get upset with us. You asked for a village to help you take care of your kids, so you need to sit down while we help you do that. So many of your parents get out of your baby's way. Understand that we're in a different age. There's absolutely nothing wrong with your baby understanding what yoga and meditation is. Come on. That's what our ancient ancestors were trying to teach us so we can find enlightenment. Don't keep that from your baby because you blocked and closed off in your head. And that's no judgment. That's just I see what it is. Many of these children are, are born into families where they literally have to fight for their soul. Like fight for it. Like fight for their soul to fly free. So I'm talking to y'all parents who have little children. Like I feel like infants to age 10 to age 16. Your children are going through things. And see, the children talk to me, y'all. I, I promise you, I'm getting to the bottom of that. I'm like, yo, I'm a youth and child advocate. I don't know. Because these baby souls come and talk to me, y'all. And they're just like, yo, like, they're born into families where it's hard for their souls to fly free because their parents, their grandparents, their cousins, their aunties, whatever, they don't understand what spirituality is. They understand what religion is. And they pump that. That's cool. They don't understand what spirituality is. And the youth are going through spiritual things. Not religious things. Spiritual callings. Spiritual awakenings. Their ancestors are talking to them in their sleep. Like, yo, baby. Like, look. You got this work to do. Just hold tight. Like, look. We, we coming. Just look. Alright? 
But we have parents out here who don't understand that. So they think, oh, Ray Ray just acting out. He always fighting. Well, Ray Ray has these, these spiritual things that are going on and he's trying to talk to his peoples and his peoples don't feel him. They think he's crazy, so now he got to put up his hands. Duh. <laughs> I could get so, I get so passionate and a little bit of anger with it when I talk about this. But really, y'all, it's like your daughter's going through stuff because it's the divine feminine calling her. And she doesn't want to do what you do. Because what you do is not right. And she knows it on a soul level. So she's like, well, I don't know what the fuck mommy doing. But I need to do this. And then you think your daughter's just rebelling. No. She's literally the goddess. <laughs> your five-year-old baby, your 15-year-old daughter is the goddess personified. And she's trying to tell you how to get your life right. Okay. So, I don't know, again, I don't know how we went down this direction, but I, I'm getting shivers all over me. I feel like somebody who's going to watch this, this is going to be everything you needed to hear in life. So, I'm going to just say it. I feel like it's winding down, though, but take care of the children. So, again, how did I even start with that? <laughs> I think I started, oh, $10 readings for ages 18 and 22. Lord. But I also want to say, make sure you're pulling up these birth chart reports for your children, for your uh, your sisters, your little brothers, your cousins, your nieces, your nephews. If you're, if you're into spirituality and you're not sharing spiritual knowledge, you might want to meditate on that, baby. Mm-hmm. Many of you guys who are, who have spiritual callings, you're supposed to be planting seeds. And you, you run into resistance on your path when you do not share that knowledge or share your gift. It doesn't matter if you know that they don't want to hear it. You just live your life. They see you. They see you making that green juice, sis. <laughs> Rebellious mahogany. They see you doing that yoga looking like a beautiful goddess that you are. They see that shit. Even if they, they don't subscribe to it, oh well, they see it. So you're activating them. You're triggering them. You're reminding them like, oh, there was a time and space where we used to do this, where we used to do yoga, where we used to meditate, where our spirituality was popping, popping. We were in alignment with this material plane and the spiritual plane. We was lit. <laughs> so you're the reminder. You're the activator, the trigger. So many of you guys know, know who you are, know your role, play your position. That's it. That's it. All right. I'm going to get off this, y'all. I'm going to get off this. <laughs> I have an appointment. What time is it? Uh, Yeah, I have an appointment to get to. But, yeah, y'all, I send you guys so much peace, love, and abundance, divine justice, harmony, balance, unity, community, health, wellness, spirituality, divine connection, all these beautiful things. All these beautiful things. And that's not to say real life doesn't happen. And it, that's not to say it doesn't get gritty out here sometimes. That's not to say that. That's just to say, look at all this peace. That's my hashtag, y'all. That's that's my, my brand, my clothing. Look at all this peace. Just look at the peace. Look at that. Look outside. You see how that sun is shining on that tree? That's incredible. That mango you about to eat, it's, it's divine. It doesn't even make sense how incredibly divine that fruit is. Look at that. Focus on that. You're amazing. Know that. Be like, damn, I'm not exactly where I want to be in life, but look, I'm exactly where I need to be. I've been through so much, and I'm, I'm, I'm overcoming it. I overcame so much. I've been through so much, and look where I am. Like, I'm still here. I'm still smiling. So many of you, there's a need to see what you have. Be grateful for what you have, because that's how you call in more. That's how you call in more. And I'm only telling you what I know to be true. I, look, I'm shaking the phone. What I know to be true. <laughs> I only talk about what I know to be true. I don't ever come on here and it's, it's speculation. I'm assuming stuff. I don't come in front of this camera with that. I'm only coming from the camera talking about what I know and what messages are coming in. And because they're coming in is facts and that's just it. That's just it. So, yeah, y'all. But I love y'all so very much. I hope you have a fabulous day. Catch me here live tomorrow. Like I said, we're going through our Oracle cards. Whoop, can't get them. Sacred Traveler cards. I love this deck. They're gorgeous. 
a gorgeous card so i will see you here tomorrow make sure you are going to my youtube channel i need about 30 more subscribers and um whoever is my 1000th subscriber gets a free reading mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i have a bunch of other goodies along the way so i'm not gonna drop those just yet but yeah, do that. If you're in Bridgeport, Connecticut, Tri-State area, Fairfield County, Litchfield County, New Haven County, come to Bridgeport, Connecticut every single Tuesday for a spiritual wellness class. This coming Tuesday, we're doing a plant-based cooking class. You get to cook with us, you get to eat with us, and find the foods that relate to the chakras and why you need to pay attention to the chakras, what are they, and how do you eat for wellness. We're also doing dance yoga body movement we're also doing workshops where where will we where we will be making waist beads <laughs> chains necklaces rosaries uh we're having that workshop it's a four-week workshop every tuesday and then every we start different series so what i'm saying is this coming tuesday starts a new four-week series and it's every single Tuesday, okay, you guys? So make sure you come on out. Hit me up for more information. I will see y'all tomorrow. Have a fabulous day. Peace and love. Mwah. Take care.